Hey everyone, I have a special guest today in my Rants and Rays video cast, Hanan Averbach, who I'm sure everyone knows who you are. If they're on LinkedIn, they definitely know who you are. Uh, Hanan, I, it, you're, same face, same person, new company. Uh, tell, me, tell my guests a little bit, of, tell my audience a little bit about you because they probably know you from Prime View Americas, which you had a huge impact on LED in the United States over the years uh, and globally, I would argue. Um, but what you're doing now too. Sure. Yeah. So definitely, you know, I had the pleasure of being in this industry almost two decades now. And, you know, what started off as more of the mom and pop experience where, you know, displays were starting to get cool, flat, pa flat panels were, were, were cool, you know, went from plasma to CCFL to LED, and then really got into the world of LED walls. There's so much that has changed over the last three to five years. And I think the world is now at a place where it's not just about go big or go home. It's about how do you create that experience that wants or that demands entering the space, regardless yeah. of the vertical. So essentially um, what we're building at Blue Square. So Blue Square is an existing company focused really on the digital sign of space, huge partner actually of Samsung on the distribution and specialty reselling. And in Blue Square X, we're really focused on expanding that experience. So it's not just about the LED, the interactive experience, it's the software side of things, it's the trim kit, the cladding, the framing, it's the content, it's everything that creates an immersive experience that says, wow, I gotta get in that space. I wanna go back to that office. I love that hotel, that, that's a selfie moment that like I have to share. Everything's about evoking a certain experience and emotions out of a person when they enter a space that has a blue square element. Yeah, and, and I agree with you. I think LED is the technology to do that because LED, obviously, you can make environments immersive with LED uh, technology. And um, and and you know, I think they they made a phenomenal choice in you because you you know the you know the different types of technology and applications inside and out because of where you were. So Blue Square has been around for about a decade, and and Blue Square X is going to focus on you know, technology experiences, driving people in the door, keeping them in the door. Um, you've got a couple applications that, um, they, that they, 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 you can use as sort of like um, showcase applications, some, you know, some residential integrated spaces where you've shown the power of the technology. We've got some, uh, we're going to put up a demo reel of, of one of those right now, just to kind of give people an idea of what you're able to do. Do you see this going, you know, because obviously this is um, high end residential, but I mean, there's all sorts of applications for this, everything from live events all the way through, um, you know, corporate lobbies and even driving people into retail spaces. Yeah, I think, you know, there's a few key verticals that were at day one, I guess you could call it more focused on. Um, ultimately, we're not interested in a world of very competitive LED of competing against anybody that's not our competition our competition mm -hmm. is not the other 10, 20 guys that offer an led solution yeah not yeah. at all we're really focused on luxury retail um high-end residences someone for example we have a project right now someone doing a 50 million dollar home right they have a 50 million dollar home with a 20 million dollar car collection <laughs> they're going to go and put two three million bucks in yeah. led into personal residences that's our client luxury right. retail not regular retail can we provide a solution for retail? Yeah, we could. But when you think about the luxury brands, it's no longer just about walking into the store and seeing a beautiful Prada bag or that Gucci loafer. It's about how do you create a buying experience? Like I met earlier in my career with someone in the, in the omni channel side of retail. And it's all about taking the brick and mortar and the online and bridging the gap. Yeah. That's where we are in the world of AV. It's saying, 
what are the building blocks that experience this sort of brick and mortar experience? And how do I have a certain emotion that says, wow, I got to go back there. That's the same bridge that we're trying to create a Boost Square X, which is a beautiful trimming and cladding and mounting solution that's tied together with the content experience. So the content has to match the framing and the framing has to have a certain quality of LED. So everything that we're focusing on is the experience inside and out. And so that means obviously you're going to have, you know, UX and um, creative design as part of the element of the offering that you're going to have more than just the hardware itself. I mean, obviously you're going to have to coach uh, all that from, because the experience is going to be driven by the content more than the display itself, right? That's correct. So the first question we ask on any project, okay, is what's your content strategy? Not what's your pixel pitch? What's your budget? That's like the dumbest thing I've ever seen, which is like the entire AV industry does. And they're all guilty of it because every AV integrator, every reseller is trying to close business. But if you focus on the experience, that's how you close the business. Not focusing on the box and what margin you sell it on and how you're going to close it because it's your end of your quarter. That's a dumb way of approaching business. It doesn't work. And people are learning that the hard way. Yeah. Yeah. And, and so... Who's your audience? Like, who are you going to sell to? And and where are you? Like, how can people get involved with what you're doing? And I mean, it, it, your, your vision is very smart. Thank you. So there's obviously some of the key integrators, you know, the top, you know, 50 integrators, you know, that I've worked with in the past that obviously yeah. I'm going to work with again. Um, but in addition to that, let's just say you have your high-end residential system integrators, many of which will obviously be at CDO. Yeah. Um, those high-end residential integrators, right? They're not all for us because some of them are more projection experts by trade. Mm -hmm. Some of them are thinking about how to do this with a flat panel. They're not our clients today. But when someone wants to create a unique experience in a lobby, whether it be an architect or a designer or an AV consultant or an AV integrator that says, I'm not okay with the status quo of just another company from China that puts you know, some American here in the US and says, oh, that's my sales guy. Yeah, that they want more than that. They want someone who's going to hold their hand from start to finish to create a one of a kind experience. So it may be in certain instances, we have hotel developers that are saying to us, help us do this. In certain instances, it's real estate developers that are saying, we need to sell a two billion dollar project. Help me design a sales center of the future. Yeah. Um, in certain instances, it's a museum director of technology saying, Hanan, how do we do this better? In certain instances, it is an AV consultant saying, Hanan, I saw what you did, like, help us with this one. And we get involved from start to finish. So we do as-built drawings um, that we work closely with the consultants. We work very closely with the AV channel. Ultimately, we're not AV integrators. We're not trying yeah. to pretend to be. So I think a lot of LED manufacturers are learning the, the wrong way. You're not an AV integrator. There's a reason why there's an AV channel. Yeah. Yeah. You respect that yeah. and earn that trust. And it's about collaboration in a real way, right? Not just like the unified communication verbiage that people use. You have to really collaborate and really work together because, you know, we went down the rabbit hole for high-end residential. And what did I discover? That you can't just use like an Apple TV and expect perfect HDR, right? We went down that rabbit hole and realized there's a company called Kaleidoscape. So right. what did we do? Right. We created a new partnership with them. We didn't want displays to be boring. We wanted every display to be framed. So we partnered with other manufacturers who are framing the TVs in a real meaningful way. And it's the same thing with audio. And that's part of our strategy is it's not just focus on the product. We're going to be building experience centers throughout the U.S. as well. Yeah, th this is this is smart because I think what you're providing is sort of a bridge between being a hardware provider and actually providing something that is memorable from an experience standpoint, because, you know, you do see a lot of the same things, but every once in a while you go to a museum and you're blown away and you want to have that blown away experience in all cases. So how do we get in touch with you? Where, you know, obviously we can, we can follow you on LinkedIn. I've got, I've got Hanan linked here in wherever you're watching this right now, uh, you can connect with them on LinkedIn, but, but where, how can we get a hold of, uh, you know, how, how do we find Blue Square X? Sure. So physically our team is based out of South Florida. Um, if you go to uh, Blue, square so it's blue sqx.com mm -hmm. you'll see a little bit of a teaser what we're building here okay and blue square x is really i would say uh, we've been in stealth mode for some time if i'm being honest with you um but what we're developing and what we're building is ultimately a place where 
if you're a designer, if you're an architect, if you're an integrator, if you're an end user, we'll pair everybody together if there's any missing pieces, because ultimately we want the best for the project. But we're here to help everybody in the process. And we have a design team on the hardware side. We have engineering team. We have installation team. And more importantly, we also have an entire software team. So, and then there's a separate arm of our company, of a sister company that we have, which is actually more on the rental and staging side. So how we accommodate demos and how we accommodate massive support. You know, we have collectively over 2 million square feet of warehousing already. Wow. So it's not just about custom projects. It's not just about all-in-ones. It's about the service model on a global level. So we have projects that are going on the West Coast, the Midwest, Texas, South Florida, New York. And again, this is just the beginning. We have stuff coming up in Canada. We have stuff coming in South America. I mean, the idea here is, is to truly build an ecosystem of hardware and software and content that is scalable globally. Excellent. Well, I, Excellent. I appreciate you explaining all this coming on. on uh, and, I, you know, obviously with CDO just around the corner, uh, this is going to attract a lot of attention, but it goes well beyond that because, as you said, you know, corporate lobby experiences, meeting experiences, um, you know, anyone who wants to do something um, that's going to be memorable, you're going to have to do it with a, an immersive experience. So, Hanan, thank you very much. Congratulations on the new role. Um, I know you're going to do really well for them because you you have a you are probably one of the most experienced people I know, especially in LED, but in the AV industry as well. Um, so I appreciate you coming on doing this. And of course, I appreciate all of y'all watching. You can see all of our video casts at raypubs.com. In the meantime, click on any of the links below to go to Blue Square X, also to connect with Hanan online uh, through LinkedIn. Everyone, thank you very much. And have a great day.